Hello everyone, my name is Solar and this is Solar 3D Studio channel. I've received many questions about how to create and connect these lattice structure unit cells to each other for a much bigger lattice structure, which it means patterning process. Or the most common question I received it was that uh, how we measure and calculate the length of our lattice structure towards each axis. So it means using standards. So for a reference, I uh, suggest you to use uh, ISO standard 30. 340 standard if you're going to work with mechanical meta materials uh, you could buy this standard for, uh, for for a cheap price so go do it it would be beneficial on your researches or or on your industrial pro uh, projects so uh, as you can see this is a mechanical testing of metals, ductility testing, compression test for porous and cellular materials. It is a very beneficial and useful document. You have many things in this document that I will talk about it in my future videos, such as the mechanical characteristics of these porous materials. But for these two questions, I just want to want to refer you to the page 11 which shows how to uh, choose the proper dimensions for your mechanical metal material test specimen. So if you're using a rectangular specimen, you should have a, a width of uh, 10 pore diameters. Uh, for your X and Y axis and you could have the same for your Z axis or doublet. This is also equal for your uh, cylindrical specimen so I highly recommend you to uh, read the section 6.3 sampling of test specimens in this standard it would be very beneficial for you so based on this standard i'm going to pattern my simple cubic unit cell for a mechanical test specimen of a mechanical metal material so okay first of all let's measure up our pore length or width which is 13 millimeters so it means that i need at least 10 pores length in my y axis and z axis also in x axis but uh, you should choose that you want to have a cubic mechanical metal material test specimen or a rectangular it depends on uh, the properties that you want to extract from your compression test. So uh, at this point, I want to do a rectangular uh, sample. And so let's move on. Uh, we should go to features. It's uh, I just want to note that you need to design the unit cell firstly. I have many designs in my channel. You could follow it or you could design your unit cells. It just, you just need a mechanical material unit cell before starting the patterning process. You need to go to Feature tab, choose the linear pattern. Firstly, you need to choose two direction to shape a planar mechanical material. So I choose this direction you should have pay attention to the uh, gray axis and then you should choose the uh, thickened direction okay on the left side you have two parameters to set for a proper modeling 
But firstly, let's just uncheck this feature and face and use buddies instead of that. Choose the buddy and you could see a preview of what you are patterning. I want to make it two so we could have a better understanding of this machine. Then you could expand this to the dimensions you want. Okay, as you can see, uh, I need to define this distance. Actually, this is a distancing and a spacing. We need to define this space very properly so uh, to overlap these two struts to each other to avoid unwanted unhomogeneity in our mechanical metamaterial. So. I think 40 would be good, okay. As you could see, if I complete this uh, linear pattern, I don't have any unhomogeneity in my uh, structure. This is the same unit cell patterning toward two axes. So let's see what is that unhomogeneity that I'm talking about. If you choose it 15 or even less you have a much thicker strut between your unit cells which could cause a very unwanted uh, change in the behavior of this mechanical material so let's just change it again to 40 add more structures so we could understand the Z patterning in a better way okay here is the planar mechanical metal material that I have been talking about so uh, we need to do the linear pattern again for the other direction you choose linear pattern choose your uh, direction your spacing again and the number of patterning process I could do it eight to have a cylindrical a structure then we need to use bodies instead of feature and faces so then you should just click on the bodies or you could drag and select these bodies so it is a very fast way okay then just submit the process and here you are the cylindrical mechanical metal materials and I think it's okay with the standard too so ask your questions in the comments I hope this short uh, tutorial will benefit your researches I'm always here for your questions if you think that I'm if you can't find me you could use my LinkedIn page too Thank you so much. Just do not forget to subscribe to my channel. As I always said, I need your support for uh, the future of this channel. Thank you so much.